You are not Ricotta. What is your business here, Offworlder? Who are you? We are the Elders, and you will answer our question. Who are you, and why have you come? I've come from the Ricotta to speak with you. Okay, that was the wrong choice, obviously. I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, I'm back. So, let's uh, try this once more with feeling after I heal up a little bit, of course. Ready! And you need... What? Alright. I seek the Starforge. You. You are Revan. The council wishes to speak with you. You may enter. That's better. <laughs> I already got killed not even 10 minutes into this first playthrough, so not a not a good sign. We at the Elder Council did not expect to see you again, Revan. We thought you betrayed us. Why did you return to our village after all this time? I spoke to you once before. What did I want? Is this some type of test, Revan? Some kind of trick? You came seeking our aid. You came in search of a way to enter the Temple of the Ancients. You claimed to be seeking a way to destroy the Starforge, and we were foolish enough to believe you. Unaware of your true nature, we helped you enter the temple. But you betrayed us, Revan. Instead of destroying the terrible legacy of our ancestors, you unleashed the evil of the Starforge upon an unsuspecting galaxy. And now you stand before the Council of Elders once more. And once more we ask you, for what reason have you returned, Revan? Ah, <laughs> uh, I need to get into the temple so I can destroy the Star Forge. <laughs> Do you think we are fools, Revan? Do you think we've forgotten how you lied to us last time? Why should we believe you now? <laughs> My mind was destroyed. All my memories were lost. It changed me. I'm not who I once was. They say that the experiences of our past define us and make us what we are. If it is true you've lost your memories, then perhaps you are changed. But how are we to know this is not some trick, Revan? I'm a servant of the light now. I want to make amends for the mistakes of my past. You say you are not who you once were. Yet here in our world, you, rep you repeat the pattern of your last visit. Like last time, you crashed here. Like last time, you come seeking our help. How have you changed, Revan? Well, I can't prove what's in my heart. I only ask that you judge me by my actions. We sense you mean the words you speak, but words are easy to say. It is actions that prove the true nature of your character. You must prove to us that you are not the same as you once were, Revan. You must prove that you have changed. How can I prove that? Recently, several of our scouts were captured by the One. Most of them were brutally slaughtered, but we have information that one of them is still alive. They will use unimaginable tortures to force the scout to reveal everything he knows about our tribe. And once the One is done with him, the scout will be executed like the others. You must prove you have truly changed by risking your own life to save another. Rescue our scout from the clutches of the One, and we will consider helping you. Maybe I can negotiate with the One to release your hostage. We would prefer it if you could find some way to save the prisoner without bloodshed, but we don't believe that would be possible. The One does not like to negotiate. So if I save the prisoner, you'll help me. Risking your life to save the prisoner would show us that you are sincere about making amends for your past. Alright, I'll help you. 
But I have some questions. We will tell you what we can, Revan. Do you know how to disable the disruptor field that caused my ship to crash? A disruptor field is one of the ancient defenses of the Star Forge. A great generator within the Temple of the Ancients fuels it. You will have to enter the temple to disable it. I have questions about you, your tribe, your history, the temple. You should speak to Orsa, the Keeper of History. He's located near the Great Computer on the far side of our enclave. But I will do my best to answer your questions. Tell me about your tribe. We are the Elders. Our ancestors were the priests of the Infinite Empire, the guardians of the temple and the keepers of technology. After the warlords unleashed their weapons of mass destruction and devastated the world, our ancestors knew we could never allow such technology to be used again. We sealed the knowledge of destruction within the temple, and for the past thousand generations we've kept vigil here, ensuring the knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Orsa, the Keeper of History. Osra, sorry. I want to learn more about the history of the Rakatan Empire. Our history is a long one, but it is also filled with bloodshed and sorrow. Once the Rakata ruled all the known galaxy, but our empire was destroyed by our own corruption. What do you know about the other Rakata here? There is only one other group of Rakata on this island, the Tribe of the One. They would slaughter us if they could, hoping to unlock the secrets hidden away in the temple. But don't you have the technology to destroy the One? We do, but if we kill them all, then we will only prove that we have learned nothing over the past 40,000 years. We tried to negotiate with them. We went emissaries under a flag of troops for the one first arrived at this island. But all our envoys were brutally slaughtered. The one is mad with power. We choose not to fight him, so our only course of action is to stay here in isolation where we are safe. Just as we have done for the past 40,000 years. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Osra. What do you know about the Temple of the Ancients? The temple is a sacred place, but also a place of great danger. Within its walls, the terrible secrets of our ancestors have been locked away. We ourselves can no longer enter the temple, Revan. We don't have the power of the Force. But you can enter with our help. Can you tell me about the Star Forge? The Star Forge is a blight upon our world, an orbiting symbol of the failures and horrors of our past. We have long searched for a way to destroy it, and now you have finally given us ch that chance. Alright, I'll be back. The prisoner is being held in the chamber of the one himself. Return it to us once he is free. Until then, you have free run of our enclave. Huh. So they have a very different side of history, huh? Tea time. <laughs> All right, let's go. Computer spike, hyperadrenal strength, hyperadrenal stamina. Nice, okay. Construction kit, hyperadrenal strength, hyperadrenal stamina. Nice. Two repair kits, two med packs. Two repair kits, two med packs. Two advanced repair kits, two advanced med packs. Rancor grenades? Five concussion grenades and five adhesive grenades? Now I'm curious, what are these? This type of grenade releases a gas that is highly toxic to rancors but ineffective against other organisms. 
Oh, that must be cut content. Interesting. All right, so. Whoops. So what's over here? Keeper or saw? Didn't they call him Keeper Osra? Whatever. Greetings once again, Revan. I'm glad that you've returned. I couldn't believe that you betrayed us, despite what the council said. I'm sorry, I don't remember you. My name is Orsa. I am the Keeper of History for the Elders. The last time you were here, you had many questions for me. The council told us all the destruction of your memories, but I still hoped you might recall something of our past discussion. Well, welcome to Brightside. We can have all those discussions once again. I suppose that's true. As you can imagine, I have a few opportunities to share my knowledge with those outside our enclave. And I do have a few questions for you. Yes, of course. Although you must forgive me if some of the starts with you to seem familiar. After all, we did go into the history of the Rakata at some length the last time you were here. I'll do my best to enlighten you with the knowledge I hold. What subject do you wish to learn about? Tell me about the beginnings of the Rakata Empire. Long ago, we Rakata were a great space-faring people. Our ships combined technology and the power of the Force, and we were able to pilot them to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Everywhere we went, we found civilizations less advanced and weaker than our own. But instead of helping them advance, we conquered and enslaved them. Back then, we could still command the Force. That, combined with our advanced technology, made our march of conquest irresistible. Soon the Infinite Empire stretched across the entire galaxy. Over time, we lost our ability to use the Force. Some believe we used the Force for so long that we evolved biologically and became immune to its effects. In any case, once we lost our sensitivity to the Force, our empire began to fracture. We had to revert to more conventional space travel using inferior technology. Our ultimate collapse was inevitable. Interesting, so they lost the, the ability to feel the Force? Huh. So how did they collapse? Long ago, the Rakata ruled all the known galaxy. All the species bound down to us. But we were a corrupt people, and in our fall from glory, there are terrible lessons that must be learned. The Infinite Empire was built on slaughter. It was inevitable it should collapse upon itself. War, plague, and slave rebellion forced us to retreat back here to our hidden home world. Here, conflict among power-hungry warlords escalated into full civil war. Terrible weapons of mass destruction were unleashed, driving most of the Rakata far beneath the earth for shelter. A devastation ravaged the world. Our people were scattered, our cities leveled, our very existence all but erased. The glory of the infinite empire found nothing but dust and bones. In the past few thousand years, small bands of Rakata have begun to return to the surface. But they are primitive and superstitious creatures. Only we elders remember anything of the true past. I may ask you something else. Tell me about the tribe of the elders. We elders are descendants of the holy priest caste of the infinite empire, survivors of the terrible weapons unleashed by the war wars during the final collapse of our empire. Inside the temple of the ancients, our ancestors were safe from the devastation that forced the other Rakata to flee underground. We emerged from the temple to find an empty and ruined land. At last, we understood the terrible power of our own technology. To ensure it could never be unleashed upon us again, we sealed the ancient knowledge within the temple. What do you know about the other Rakata tribes here? 
Many centuries ago, the other Rakata began to emerge from the underground of war and for they had sought shelter for the devastation of the warlords. But these Rakata were as violent as the warlords they had fled many millennia ago. After centuries of battle and bloodshed, a tribe of the one has emerged as the strongest of them all. Now the one, lured by half ribbon of legends of his people, lost to possess the terrible power locked inside the temple. We can never allow that to happen. Have you tried reasoning with him? When the one first arrived at the silent, we sent emissaries into their flag of troops to try and negotiate with his tribe, but all our envoys were brutally slaughtered. We do have the technology to destroy the one and his followers, but if we kill them all, then we will only prove that we have learned nothing over the past 40,000 years. Okay, that was a bit of deja vu there. Uh, what can you tell me about the Temple of the Ancients? The temple is a sacred place of terrible secrets. All the dark mysteries of the Rakata are housed within its stone walls, which pulse with the living power of the Ancients. Only those who can command its power, what you call the Force, can enter this temple. Many centuries ago, there were still a few among us who could pass within its walls. But living in the shadow of the temple, we, we became desensitized to its power. As you yourself said the last time you were here, we elders are no longer force sensitive. Can any of the Rakata enter the temple? None of the Rakata could control the force now, but long ago there were those who could pass through the barrier. Our ancestors created the energy shield around the building as a second line of defense, but the energy shield was created using the technology within the temple itself. Once we helped you about to get past the barrier, you discovered a way to lower the shields at will from within the temple itself. After this, you had no further need of us. The once hallowed ground of the temple is now overrun with the followers of Mount who can command the force. Those you call the Dark Jedi. Well, shit. I mean, I kind of saw that coming, but you know. <laughs> Still kind of a pain in the butt to deal with. Do you know how to disable the disruptor field that caused my ship to crash? A disruptor field is one of the ancient defenses of the Star Forge. A great generator within the Temple of the Ancients fuels it. You will have to enter the temple to disable it. Alright. Could you tell me about the Star Forge? Much of our knowledge of the Star Forge is lost. It was built during the height of the Infinite Empire long ago. All we know now is that it casts a terrible shadow across our world. We elders have longed to destroy the Star Forge for many generations, to cleanse ourselves of its evil presence, but we have neither the knowledge nor the capability. When you and Malak last came here, we saw you as saviors. We let you into the temple so you could destroy the Star Forge, but instead you harnessed its dark power for yourselves. You awakened a dormant evil. Your fleet helped spread the corruption of the Star Forge throughout the galaxy, and now you return as the last hope to stop what you once started. Alright. Well, I have to go now. Yes, of course. You have much to do and little time to do it. But if you ever have any questions for me, I'll be happy to try and answer them. Another experience point bonus now for getting the other side of the Rakatan Empire story. That's pretty nice. What's in here? A Rakatan computer? Let me see that then. Hyperadrenal strength, hyperadrenal alacrity, computer spikes. Uh, anything else in those wicker bins? Nope. Okay. Well, what's in here? Some more stimulants and more computer spikes. Okay. 
Construction kit, more stimulants in three parts. More stimulants in a construction kit. More stimulants, three parks, three computer spikes. Parts, not parks, sorry. More stimulants. More stimulants in a construction kit. Okay. Sweet. Let me take a look at this. Use the verification. Use your species. Non Rakata. Access to auxiliary archives is restricted to Rakata or approved servants. Slaves may not access the archives. <clears throat> I do, sir, the Ricotta. How else would I learn the language? Logical. User speaks the language of the Ricotta in order to serve them. User added to authorized list of Don Ricotta. Notice. Further information can be obtained from the main archives of the Temple of the Ancients. Downloading codes to bypass exterior energy fields surrounding Temple. My archives are ready for information retrieval and downloaded into remote datapad storage. Please select a topic. I am looking for the secrets of the ancient Ricotta. Searching. Retrieving information. These secrets are locked within the Temple of the Ancients. The Elder steal this information away to prevent the technology from falling into the wrong hands. Okay, so how can I get into the temple? Searching. Retrieving information. The shields constructed by the elders to guard the temple are controlled for the summit of the structure. Anyone inside the temple may temporarily shut down the shields. There is only one way to gain access to the temple from the outside. The shields are designed to lower in response to a ritualistic chant as detailed in the ancient text held by the Keeper of History. To protect the secrets within this temple, a chant will only work as spoken by the Rakata. No other species can create the proper annotations that will trigger the shield deactivation. Okay. Tell me about the Starforge. Searching. Error. No information on Starforge detected. Information may be recorded in the databanks of the Temple of the Ancients. All right, tell me about the Temple of the Ancients. Searching. Retrieving information. The temple is a sacred place of ancient secrets. All the dark mystery, uh, all the dark mysteries of the Rakata are housed within its stone walls, which pulse with the living power of the ancients. Only those who command the force can enter the temple. None among the Rakata still had this ability, but the elders are seeking to read a force-sensitive being. Okay, let me ask you something else. I want to know more about the history of the Rakata. Searching. Retrieving information. At its peak, the infinite empire of the Rakata ruled over 500 planets and was compromised of 10 billion Rakata and over a trillion slaves scattered across the galaxy. Jeez! But over time, the empire grew weak and corrupt and turned against itself. Civil war, slave rebellions, and a great plague spread throughout the galaxy. A plague? Its origins were unknown. Perhaps the creation of an enslaved species. Perhaps the mutation of a natural virus. It killed only Ricotta, and it spread to every corner of the galaxy. The infinite empire crumbled into dust as the Ricotta survivors fled back here to their home world, isolated and hidden from the rest of the galaxy. But even hidden here on this forgotten planet, they were not safe. Millions died from the deadly plague. Many more died in the never-ending civil war. The history of the Infinite Empire ended 20,000 years ago. Now the Rakata are nothing but a few scattered, primitive tribes battling for dominance and control. Okay. Tell me about the Elders. Searching. Retrieving information. The Elders are descended from the Rakata priest caste. When the Infinite Empire collapsed, the Elders isolated themselves on this island, far away from the rest of Rakata society. The Elders had the secret technology of the ancient within the temple, fearing it could be used to bring about the extinction of the Rakata species. 
Deprived of the knowledge of the ancients, the other Rakata degenerated into primitive tribes engaged in constant warfare. Only the elders have preserved the true history of this world. Okay. Is that everything? I think it is. Alright, I'll be going now. Please return should you require further information contained in the auxiliary archives. I was hoping for an experience bar, but that's okay. Uh, okay. I think there's a little bit more that I can explore in this temple. Yeah, there's only I have to explore this section yet. But then I'll head over and try to negotiate with the one and get their prisoner back, if at all possible. Elder worshippers. Uh, you guys good? I guess you must be meditating. Elder researchers. So who's this researcher in Lawa? You've returned at last, Trippin. I was beginning to wonder what happened to you in the temple. Nothing much happened. <laughs> Indeed, nothing much happened for many years, it seems. <laughs> uh, what are you doing there, my dude? What am I doing? You mean the purpose of my research here? Why do you have these prisoners? As you may have heard from our historians, in our distant past we melted technology in the forest to create truly wondrous effects. We guided ships across the galaxy using our power and incorporated its use into all aspects of our society. But something happened somewhere. What happened? There are a variety of theories on what happened. Perhaps we became immune to the effects of the force from overuse. Perhaps our breeding habits rendered our species insensitive to it over time. None truly know. The only discernible result was that we could no longer command the forces we had. Its power had escaped us. With its loss, our technologies could no longer hold up as far above the subjugated races we ruled, and our empire began to crumble. The races we subjugated rose up. Plague swept our worlds. We could do nothing against all these calamities. In the end, only the members of our race left here and our home world survived. So what is your research then? Every once in a while there's an individual born who has an affinity for the Force. Maybe not the ability to use it directly, but at least the ability to remain open to it. I believe this is a sign that whatever genes our species had that gave us the ability to use the Force were not completely gone. Perhaps some of the ancestors of the current tribes fled beneath the surface. Some retain this trait. We've been working for years to isolate the gene in an attempt to resurrect it in our species as well. We at the Elders do not have force sensitivity ourselves, but by harnessing the genetic structure of other tribes, we hope to be able to breed the gene back into our species. You're trying to rebuild a genetic structure? We believe that if we get a large enough genetic sample, we can reintroduce the recessive force sensitive genes back into our people, allowing us to once again access to the heritage of our past. You mean the temple? Yes, the temple. It can only be entered by those sensitive to the force. So it has been barred to us for ages. What we may find inside will allow us to let the other tribes out of the barbarism into which they have fallen, and restore us as a productive force in the galaxy. I don't know how the Republic of the Sith would see you. That is a worry, but we hope that our good intentions will let them accept us. This time, perhaps we can redeem ourselves in the eyes of the galaxy and become a force of good. Well, how close were you to finishing your research? We're quite far along, having had research centuries to work already, but with the arrival of another tribe on our island, we'd be restricted in our movements to just our enclave. We've captured a few of their warriors, but the one that really interests us is their leader. The One. 
But what's so special about the one? Those the genes we seek seem to be marked. Marked with a destiny that causes them to rise above others as we did as species as a species early on. And hearing the stories his warriors tell the one, we believe that he may hold some of the genes that we seek. He may be nearing foreign sensitivity. Unfortunately, he and his people are much too aggressive and violent for us to ever get close enough to study him. His course would not do either, as only a living, working body is of use to us. Maybe in time, though, the differences between our peoples will lessen enough that we may study one another and gain the information we need. Hmm. What kind of information do you need? Genetic data on first changes over the many millennia we've been here. Specific data on exceptional individuals. If we had access to the knowledge of our ancestors, they must have known much, much more than us. They had a much greater population sample to work with. I believe that in the temple there may be the information we seek. Perhaps in old archives or scrolls. Maybe an ancient computer if anything is still functioning. That information would help us greatly in our work, and we'd be very grateful to you for it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, I have to go now. But I'll keep an eye out for your research. Very well then. Come and go as you please. Okay, so they lost the force, but they're trying to breed it back into them. Interesting. The wrath of the Rakata will consume you all. Uh, I doubt that, my dude. <laughs> A data pad. Oh, what's this? Let me see. This data pad contains blueprints for a variety of ancient Rakata weapons and technology. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. So that might be useful if I'm doing the dark side quest, which is helping the one and slaying the elders, but uh, I'm a light sider, so again, trying to go with, with the more mostly canonical route here, so. All right, back to the one. More rankers. All right, guys. I'll see you all at the um, at the at the uh, tribe of the one settlement. All right, I'm back. So here we go. We have seen you, interloper. You are a servant of the elders. By order of the one, you must die. Who you calling Sleemo, Sleemo? Nice one, Jelly. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, this is going as well as I thought it would. Is that all of them? I think it is. 
Okay. Uh, well, let's get moving. Whoa, 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 guys, calm down. Did I rob these things already? I think so. Yeah, okay. Uh, for the record, guys, I didn't want to have to do this. Alright, is that all of them? Okay. I wonder how many of these guys are going to have remains on them by the time I'm done. <laughs> But okay. Bye. Okay, not on you, not on you, not on you. Uh, was I over here already? Okay, I think I was. Yeah, let's move. More Rakatan. Hi, friend. You're about to have a really bad day. <laughs> Any remains on either of you? I don't think so. More of them. Attack! No remains on you. I do find it kind of odd that Joe Lee can use Force Lightning and Force Storm when I'm not in control of him. But if I try to use Force Lightning instead of Force Storm, it doesn't work. It doesn't work out that way. I can't select it. I guess that must be an AI thing or something. I don't know. Okay, no remains on you. Hi, friend. Bye, friend. No remains. Okay. Here we go. The Black Rakata shall never fall to you. So now we fight the one himself. Well, this was inevitable either way. <laughs> You're a pushover. <laughs> oh my goodness. How did HK get zapped? 
That was weird. How did he get zapped? Huh. Well, whatever. The fight's over now. Five advanced vet packs, three concussion grenades, and two Viber of Swords. Cool. No other remains. Let me take a look at these things over here. Items received. Ship parts. Cool, I'll take them. I think we're just about done with uh, this side quest here, so that's nice. Oh! Elder Warrior! Hey, how's it going, pal? You're alright. Sort of. You... You saved me from the savages of their war beasts. Are you the only one, dude? Yes. Of the four of us they captured, only I remain. What did they do to you, man? Hey. They were trying to find out how to breach our defenses and gain entry to our camp. My comrades, they, they wouldn't tell them. I'm sure that had you not come, I would have ended up as they did. Who are you, exactly? I'm one of the elders, the other remaining tribe of the Rakata on this island. A tribe you fought has attempted to destroy us and seize our secrets to gain access to the Temple of the Ancients. Thus far, they failed. Well, I was sent by the council to save you. I don't know what I could have done if you had not come. I suppose I'd be dead now, like the others that captured with me. Thank you for saving me. I shall attempt to return to the Enclave on my own. I'll tell the council of what you've done. Good luck, dude. Okay, let me heal up a little bit. Yes. Sure. Ready. What? All right, guys. I think that uh, it's pretty much a walk to the elder camp at this point. So I'll see you guys back there, unless something else pops up. Revan, you are back. Our scout has told us how you rescued him. His injuries are severe, but we believe that he will survive. We are grateful for what you've done. So now will you help me? Risking your own life to save our scout seems to prove that you have, cha that you have changed significantly since the last time you were here, Revan. But you have deceived us before. We want to discuss this in greater detail. We must have some privacy, Revan. We will return when our deliberations are done. Revan, you have rescued a member of our tribe from the one at great personal risk to yourself. We believe this action shows you have truly changed since your last visit here. The council has decided that we will trust you once more. For many generations, we sought a way to enter the temple and discover the means to destroy the Star Forge. But only those who can command the Force, like you, can enter the Temple of the Ancients. We no longer had that power. That was why we helped you the last time you were here. But you cannot enter the temple without our help, Revan. Only the ancient rituals of our people can lower the shield for you to enter. You need us as much as we need you, Revan. Then it looks like we'll be working together. For our own sake and that of the entire galaxy, we hope you truly mean to atone for your past evils. When you are ready, Revan, we will take you to the temple. But the temple is a place of sacred power. If you are to enter, you must do so alone, in the tradition followed by our Rakata ancestors for the past thousand generations. Why do I have to go in alone? When you were last here, we broke the ancient tradition. We allowed you and your apprentice to enter the temple together, and it brought untold suffering upon the galaxy. 
We believe you want to destroy the Star Forge this time, but the lesson of the past is not easily forgotten. We will not defile the sacred ritual a second time. Only you alone may enter. Alright. When I'm ready, I'll go into the temple alone. Then it is done. You only have to let us know when you're ready to enter the temple. Then let's go. Let's not waste any time. The time has come for you to atone for your past crimes, Revan. But the task ahead will be difficult. Those you call Dark Jedi, followers of your own apprentice, now dwell within the temple. I can deal with them. Go to the temple now. We will meet you there once the ritual has been prepared. Remember, in accordance with ancient Ricardo tradition, you must enter the temple alone. Okay. I must enter the temple alone, so that means I have to get rid of HK and Jolie, which kind of stinks, but not a lot I can really do about that if I'm going to be confronting my old apprentice here. Uh, what's over here? Did I explore this section? Nah, nothing. Whole lot of nothing, but okay. Is there anything over here? Nope. Okay. What about over this way? Nope. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Just trying to round out the map. I thought there might have been another foot locker around. But okay. Uh, on to the ancient temple. See you guys there. I will begin the ritual. It will take many hours, but when it is complete, you must be ready. The shields will not stay down for long. Prepare yourself. Wait, someone is coming! Wait, you can't go in there alone. What are you doing here? I had to go in alone. So we're caught in tradition. We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. No other can go with you into the temple. You must enter alone. That is the way of the ancient ritual. Jolie, you can't come. The Rakata won't allow it. Your destiny, maybe the fate of the entire galaxy, could be forever changed inside that temple. I'm not about to let you face that alone. Not after my premonition. There's a reason I had that vision. Jolie speaks for both of us. You must enter the temple, but we must go with you. So you just tell that guide of yours to do whatever he has to do to get us all inside the temple. Alright. I'm not going in alone after all. Lower the shield. No! You must enter the temple alone. I will not lower the shield. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. Guys, I can't destroy the Star Forge alone. They must come with me into the temple. I... I believe you. The Elder has said you wish to destroy the Star Forge and end the terrible legacy of our ancestors. If you need help to do this, I will not stand in your way. I will resume the ritual now. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple.
If you like this video, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash burningearththeffx. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to follow us on Facebook for more exciting updates. And as always, thanks for watching.